Hey everybody, Dr. Shook here. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, what I want to do is just share with you, uh, I want to share with you um, a common reason that we'll see someone still feel that they don't have enough thyroid hormone or still have hypothyroid symptoms, even though their TSH looks good, which is remember TSH is what's most commonly checked. Your, your primary care doctor, your physician's probably going to check TSH, and sometimes that's all they check. But we're going to talk about why if TSH is normal or within the lab range and your T4, which is the primary hormone made by the thyroid, why if it's normal and your TSH is normal, why might you still have thyroid related symptoms? So there are a lot of different reasons. As you guys know, if you follow me, I, I talk about a lot of different ways that the thyroid physiology and chemistry can, can break down. But let's talk about one of the common reasons that um, that, that we need to really discuss and you need to have a better understanding of. So if you have normal TSH and normal T4, which is the primary hormone being put out by the thyroid, but you still don't feel well, I'll tell you that one marker that needs to be checked and looked at is T3. Okay, so T3 is the physiologically active form of your thyroid hormone. Your T4 gets converted into T3, and then your body will use the T3 to stimulate and drive uh, the cells of your body, drive your metabolism, and give you all the beneficial um, qualities from thyroid hormone. Okay, so what you need to know is if you have normal T4 and normal TSH, what does your T3 look like? Because the majority of the T4 gets converted into T3 in the liver, okay? Now it does, there's, there's a, a percentage of it, a good percentage it gets converted in the uh, gastrointestinal, the GI tract, and some of it gets converted peripherally, what we say peripherally. So in some of the tissues outside of those organs, um, in the heart and in, in different tissues, it gets converted straight to T3. But the majority of it get, happens in the liver. So some people do not convert T4 to T3 very well, okay? So they have low T3. And, and the question you have to ask is why, right? So why am I a poor converter of T4 to T3? So one of the, the most common reasons that we see why people don't convert well is because they have high levels of inflammation that cause disconversion or poor conversion of T4 to T3. So in that situation, you may do very well with a thyroid hormone replacement like Armour or one of those that, uh, um, or a combination of T4 and T3, but you got to ask yourself, why am I not converting properly, right? I mean, if you take a medication that helps symptomatically, then fantastic, but you've got to ask, what's the problem? Why do I not convert well? And if it's because of inflammation, then, then you really need to understand what the inflammatory process is. Why do you have the inflammation there in the first place? Because you've got to look, you know, the goal that and the objective that I take with patients is to try to look as far upstream or, or as, you know, another way is to say it would be um, to, to as much as the root uh, to the root cause as possible, right? So we try to investigate the drivers or causes of the process because many times when you take medications, you're just, you're just treating symptomatology, right? You're just treating a symptom of something that's, a, that's another problem or a bigger problem. Now, it may be that, you know, I'm not saying that those medications aren't appropriate for you. That might be exactly what you need, but you need to understand that there are reasons that people will not convert properly, that they're T4 to T3. So if your TSH is normal, your T4 is normal, um, but you still have symptoms, then for one thing, you need T3 checked. And then you need to understand if it's low, then, or if it's on the lower end, then you may be a poor converter of T4 to T3. And there's a lot of different reasons that can cause that inflammation being the number one that we see in practice. So there are other reasons too. And that's one of the things that, you know, will help people investigate with their health is just, you know, what's going on, try to understand the chemistry that's occurring and see if we can't help you get to the to the root of the problem so you can be as healthy as possible. Anyway, Dr. Shook here. Just wanted to share with you this, this quick tip and give you something to think about. Hopefully you guys are getting the help you need, but if you, you have any questions or you need anything, uh, we will do everything that we can to help you out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate you coming here to learn more about your health. Thanks.